culture is real important to us. Culture, you can't leave your culture. Culture is on the front, always. Culture, you won't lose yourself. Culture, you won't lose all the land. I was born on well number seven on the Canning Stock Route. And when I was born, my mother, they was um, looking after the last lot of bullocks that came down from Halls Creek. And I was born at that time and, and the station owner got on the radio and he said, oh, you better bring that baby in because too much, you know, for her out there. No clothing and all that and she haven't got a name. Mum took me on the horseback and I went all the way on the horseback. She had me in front of her and I was drinking her titty and well, I was on the way to the station to get my name and all. <laughs> yeah. In the song line, in the song, the butterfly is called Birk Because I'm a Bunba woman, I'm a butterfly woman as well. Yeah, it's, it's significant for me. So we dance the butterfly. Yeah, that is very significant to the Rambaranga people, my tribe. We've seen a lot of death happen. And so this is where we all wanted to get together and say, hey, we need to stop all this. So how do we do it? We have to bring back our culture. The, how it was before in the first place. How our foremothers, how our forefathers have walked. How they've eaten, you know, how, how they had their diet that was healthy. How they were very strong men and very strong women. We don't, we don't have much strong culture up here, much like Catherine, I reckon. Like um, everyone, they do their own things here. Yeah, every man for himself. Yeah. Yeah, just a, like a crossroads, really. Catherine? Culture is very personal, isn't it, to the group that you belong to. Population in Catherine is so, di so diverse, you know what I mean? We have Western Australian people here, we have Queensland people here, we have South Australia. They're all identified stolen generation. So realistically, their return to culture is not appropriate in the cultural groups here. How do you support those people? It's just empowering people to develop socially and emotionally and economically, you know, because um, we've got very, very strong people out there. The complexities of culture is very strong. I mean, you can grow up within traditional culture and not always understand what's going on as well. Um, but to learn it is a strong thing because that is your identity. You become empowered, you become proud, and you become knowledgeable about who you are. My grandchildren need to learn more. More bush life, culture, and looking after their country. You too? For me and my family, I like to go out and live in the country instead of being in town. Too much drink, that's what taking all that people um, away from their country, you know? I am Marcia Ashwin. I am originally come from here, Waluna. I used to be a big alcoholic years ago. Just drink, drink. I was been out of jail. And I'm an artist at the Aboriginal Art Centre. So I did art paintings. And doing artwork, it stopped me from going to the local pub to drink. And it was very good at keeping me out of trouble. It just made me earn a few more money for food and that. For me, it's like um, painting, it's like a healer for me. You feel when you do your painting and country and story, this is amazing spring that comes inside of us because you're going back walking in country again.
have our culture and knowing your culture and being strong culture, it also helps people be healthy. It helps them live life well and, and be strong with what they do. Because if you've got a healthy culture, you've got a healthy body. If I had my language and culture, I'd, I'd be more competent and, and more proud of, of my culture and, yeah, and who I am and, um, yeah, like. I'm proud because I'm Yolngo, staying in Yolngo area, living in with Yolngo, in Yolngo areas, Yolngo land. Out of that, I'll take my identity and my knowledge Wherever I go, I can still be a Yolmo and carry my culture and show to the world. It's like family. Like when you go back, there's, you have to go back and see your family and live with your family. Because homeland is where you belong. Because our foundation and identity is back at home. You can you can leave um, homeland. If you leave homeland, you've lost. See, because then we come from spiritual people and we nourish ourselves with family from past time to today to future time. When you go there, you know, you're feeling, feeling of that country. Sometimes during the night you get that cold wind feeling come to you and might be the spirit of your own people, ancestors come, and you get that nice, cool feeling, and you feel at home. Must be your Jamu grandfather come, must be Nana, or oh, your right make you feel at home. You got your right to stay in the place. Well, number six, seven, and Katera and all them places, I feel really at home. That's where my heart is always. <laughs>